All right, guys, we've had requests to explain how my coin sorter works. So the deal is, uh, like, the, the, the pro and the con with this one is you have to set it for the coins you want to count. So right now it's set to count quarters for my laundromat. It will uh, count them and sort them out of here. Start. All right, so we had three quarters in there. Now, the problem is you have to set it for whatever your largest coin is. If we set this for a dollar coin, it'll sort, it'll count, but what will happen, and I've wired this to uh, not shut off due to safety concerns, so don't do this, is it'll, uh, if you have a dollar coin in here, it'll just endlessly recycle, and it won't count your dollar coin. So what you have to do is you have to go through and set it to count a larger coin. So we've got set for dollars. Normally it counts, so it's a little smaller. There. So we set it to count a dollar, and now it's counted a dollar. The problem is if you're counting quarters and you get a dollar coin, it will jam. If you're counting dollars, it will off sort all of your smaller change. So we're gonna throw in some quarters. It's continuing to be set to uh, only count uh, dollar coins. And we end up with these in the off sort. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you wanna count quarters, you have to drop it down to 24 millimeter. And they, they have a little booklet with this machine that explains you know, the size of money, but it's like about 26, 27 millimeters for dollars, 24 for quarters. Uh, nickels are um, in the 20 range. Dimes are in the maybe 14, 15 range. And pennies a little longer. So this is a one coin sorting machine. Everything either ends counted or it ends up off sorting. Now it can jam. So now we have it set for quarters and press the button. We counted the five quarters that are in there. And these normally will go into a bucket or a bag or whatever you want. Um, at my laundromat, you know, and car wash for the, the most part, we're sorting between one and 2,000 quarters every single time. So that's how this machine works. I'll have a link down in the video description if you're interested in buying one off Amazon. Um, my understanding Amazon typically has the better price. Um, you can get a larger machine than this Casa to C550. The problem is the price will go from this, you know, is a five, six hundred dollar unit. The one that will sort all of the coins, all the different denominations, both reliably and multi coin, they're about twenty thousand dollars. So, what I've done is I have multiple C550s and then they just cascade one into another. And I've taken vacuum hoses for my car wash and they just um, cycle. That's why I have this tray over here. They start with quarters. Then it goes down to nickels, which are smaller. Then it goes down to dimes, which is on the bottom. And that's how I count three separate denominations at one time. Because it's easier for me to buy three $500 machines than it is for me to buy one $20,000 machine. And the thing is, the C550, or this C500, it will sort probably $1,000 worth of coins in three minutes. Um, the, wor the biggest problem is keeping this hopper full and this full. Um, you put too much weight into it, and it'll actually start to tip over. You could probably put like some lead weights up there and it would work, but a um, little slow of a process to dump buckets in it, but it's it's infinitely faster than the other comparisons. Um, Cassida has sent me a couple of these machines for free, full disclosure, but I've also got ones from their competitors and I have found that these work really, really well. You do want to put a little drop of oil in it once in a while, but beyond that, that's the maintenance and these things. I mean, the internal workings are right here. It's two belts and... Um, there's a tensioner on there and there's a um, wheel to keep that belt on these are ridiculously simple and they're they're engineered in a similar way to the one that i had that was built in the 1970s that was purely mechanical so it's been a great machine